Welcome to another cast brought to you by StarCast TV. I am Niokin, and today we've got a Terran versus Protoss. It is going to be Sharp going up against Best, who is obviously a well-known Terran killer. However, even though when I think of Sharp as being great Terran versus Terran, his Terran versus Protoss, it's no joke. In fact, it's way better than his Terran versus Zerg in my opinion. So this should be a good game. Now meanwhile, we do have the map Vermeer and we do have horizontal spawns. With it being a four player map, we may see Protoss get a little bit greedy here. I do remember Best is someone that does like to go for forward gate and pressure with the Zealot. We'll also have to keep an eye on that to see if he wants to go for that. Now for a second, I thought Sharp was actually going for a 10-10-10 because I saw his money sit around 130 minerals, but it is not going to be anything unusual. It is just going to be the standard depot opener, and then I'm sure Barrack's going to be coming down pretty soon. The real question for me is, where's that Rax going to get placed? We do know that Sharp does like to go for Gasless a decent amount of the time, and where's that SCV heading? It looks like we may actually have... Nope. It is not going to be gasless. For a moment, I had hopes that we were going to have a gasless expand versus just a normal opener from Protoss. We do have the gate coming up, simulator at a normal time, and probe going to be moving out, try and see if he can get some intel. Can he get the first scout off? And the answer is no. He's going to go vertical, and we may actually have best finding sharp last. Now meanwhile, for Sharp, if we look in his main, he is actually going to still be going for that gasless because there's no gas here, but he doesn't have any Sim City to help him defend the natural. So this could be a decent amount of damage if a Zealot was produced, but not going to be the case this time. It is just going to be standard goon opener from Best. Now even though Best, in my opinion, does play pretty standard, I have seen a few games of his where he does go into Citadel. And as expected, there is the command center coming down. And we do see Depot coming down. And this is a little bit greedy because he has cut building a Marine. Now he's going to build it. And that's without any intel. If this had been a Zealot initially, he could have been in trouble. Now even though Best did not get scouted first, he's still going into that range. And I think that's a smart move. Put pressure onto the bunker, force repair, force Terran to potentially rush into siege mode. Players like Light don't really ever go into siege, but that is one way to counteract the goon pressure that you're going to be facing if you're not feeling confident micro in your tank back and forth. And we do have the Marine coming in, and I can tell you Best is not happy about this, seeing that this is the Gasless Expand. And I wonder if he'll cancel this. Nope, he is just going to expand normally. And we do have the SCV being intercepted, but it will get at least intel that, hey, there's a probe on the ramp. And this is kind of a normal timing where you would send the probe down to build the Nexus. So I don't think that, well, I guess none of that matters because he just flat out showed him the Nexus. All right. Well, back in Sharp's main, we've got our first factory coming down. There are only two Marines in the bunker. So for now, Sharp has gotten away with a pretty greedy build. You didn't have to build that many marines to defend. He didn't even have a great sim city either and he's gotten a good transfer off and back in best main this is going to be setting up for I imagine the robotics. And there it is. And there is, oh I thought that was actually a second factory but not going to be the case because Sharp was unable to get into the main. He does end up going for that engineering bay, and we do see a couple more marines being built to load up this bunker. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be pressure at all. In fact, this time around we know it's not going to be because it is just one factory. But even if Best sees this, this is a normal response because if goons do try and jump on your tank, you do want to make sure that they get punished. So everything very normal here, turret coming in for Sharp. He doesn't know if it's DT. So this is just a typical response, very safe. Meanwhile, we've got the probe transfer coming in. And Robo is done. So the question now is, is he going to rush the fast observatory? Or maybe 
he'll rush out a Reaver. We do have Shuttle coming in, so I think this will be the support bay, and it is. So that's going to put a lot of pressure on Desharp. You know, as a follow-up to this Goon pressure, he's going to waste a lot of resources repairing that bunker and also having to build multiple turrets in his main. I don't see any turrets in his main just yet, not on the outskirts, not at the in-between either. And we do have the four goons, as expected. Tank does rush Siege mode. Now, Siege is an expensive upgrade, so if he does show Siege here, Kronos may just instantly expand off of that, because that kind of signals that you are just going one fact, and there's the jump on the tank like I was talking about, and you can see that he did get punished a decent amount running into a bunker full of Marines. Now, this feels like a dangerous spot, but I love how the Rax is moving into position here to keep the Dracoons at bay. And meanwhile, back on best side of the map, we do have that Reaver about halfway done. He is going to have his third Nexus coming up pretty soon. And with Sharp only having one factory and the armory not being done, this is going to be kind of rough if a Reaver gets in here, even if it's just a Dragoon to help support it. You know, there's not a lot of DPS. He's going to have to unload this bunker to try and help. So we'll see how much damage this Reaver gets done. Also, there's no Goliath here, so there's no movable, you know, not real movable anti-air. Sure, Marines can help a little bit, but, you know, those things die real quickly. This turret placement, I think this is a safe turret placement. He's minimized the amount of resources he's had to commit to it, but it does leave an opening here, so he will need to position a tank in siege mode, and look at this timing. The tanks do get right into position, right at the nick of time. And the Reaver does unload, and will he get any damage done? Okay, two. Oh! Overall, this was fantastic defense. He really took almost no damage at all. Reaver killed, what, one SCV? That's a fantastic hold. Third Nexus almost done. Back in Bass Main, we do have the three gateways coming up. We do have the probe transfer, of course. And still, no gas that is natural. So he's really powering quite hard to try and catch up this worker difference that we see, 47 to 41. Meanwhile, Sharp really crushing it in terms of econ. I did see his armory was at around six minutes or so, so that's a pretty normal timing. And we do have Starport coming in, so everything looks like we're going to go into just a normal three, four fact expansion. It could also be for a two, one. You know, you do have big econ with a gas expand, but I do expect this to just be a normal expansion, and best, I don't know what triggered this, but he's going to go into a fourth Nexus, and that can be risky versus a player that went gasless and you did no damage against. Like, for all he knows, there could be mass factories behind this, but this is the correct read. The Observer still hasn't really spotted an, a, an overabundance of factories just yet. He would really love to see the Command Center if he can. But no command center just yet. There's the second armory. Science facility coming in. We've got mines coming in, so we're going to finally get some vultures out onto the map pretty soon. And back in best main forge coming in. Citadel coming in. So far, everything looks very normal to me. With the lack of gas at the natural still, that means that this is going to be gateway man for a long time. If there's going to be any tech, it's going to be Reaper and Templars. We do have two Reavers sitting outside of the natural of Sharp. This is really hard to deal with. Like, even though he's going to get off a free shot there, just having these two Reavers stalls your push so long. And you can see how diligent he is, just sieging, unsieging over and over, slowly moving forward, inching towards his third base. And there is the command center. So he is going to put, put that down and get that landed pretty soon. But Best has caught up in workers, 54 to 55. I really like his position right now. I like how he's flooding the gates. I think that his plus two weapon timing probably won't be in time for Terran's plus two timing. But plus one is still fine. What I would like to see is that gas being completed like we see here. I think he may even need to have a third gas because he's really low on gas right now. And versus two one timing, it's going to be really hard to face off versus a 2-1 push. You really do need a lot of storms or stasis or something to deal with that. But look at how much time he's buying with just these two Reavers. This is really exactly what you want to do. And unfortunately, those Goliaths miss the Observer, so he's not able to realize that, hey, Reaver sees you this entire time. 
Now back in Best Main, still no additional gateways. We do finally have the Templar Archive coming up. And we are just waiting pretty much for someone to make a move. I have a feeling once Bess reaches max, he's probably going to go for it. You can see that he already has speed. So this seems like it's designed for a bust. Meanwhile, these Reavers still getting in some few pot shots. Really haven't done much damage other than just be annoying though. 55 SCVs to 60 probes. This is fine. I would say Sharp needs maybe like five to six more workers at least so he can really pump out those factories. And we do have six fact for him. His 2-1 is about halfway done. So we got about a minute and a half or so before we're gonna see that 2-1 move out. And we do have Storm coming in. So I do like both players' position here. However, we're gonna have a bust. An attempted bust here. There's not really great Sim City. There's not that many mines. The Vultures in are, are in a fantastic position though, limiting the amount of damage that these Zealots are gonna deal. And this was a big mistake from best the reavers are finally gonna unload but it feels like that was very slow however he does actually bust this i'm surprised that this did as much damage as it did i guess it caught sharp in an awkward supply count zealots get on top of the majority of the tanks and look at this tank count it's now three there's no way that that sharp can go for a counterattack anytime soon and that was an amazing bust what looked like i thought was not going to be that good of an attack, especially with the Reavers delayed, ends up being perfect. And now if you're sharp, your whole game plan, which was the 2-1 timing, is down the train. You can see he's even putting on triple add-on onto his factories to try and just catch up his tank count because it was, you know, reset so low. We do have a few vultures moving across the map, but these pylons are set up in the perfect position where nothing is going to get by, not going to deal any damage. This command center still cannot be landed, and getting six SCVs, even though it doesn't sound like that many, it is a big deal when you're already down a base, well actually down two bases, and you're also down 11 workers. So really great play from Best. He did instantly start his plus two. I still don't see a Stargate anywhere, and it looks like we had not really much going on. Well, okay, he did lose both Reavers to those tanks and vultures, so that's a bit of a mistake, but I still think he's okay. Reavers are hard to control in the mid and late game, so I think that's not really going to come back to bite him in the butt. But one thing that I am starting to get weary of is, despite having the fast four bases, we don't see any movement from any probes anywhere on the right side of the map to build a fifth base. Now, even though he is up one base, and yes, he does have good gateway count, he is going to have good upgrades, he's going to have a good comp with Storm. You know, if Terran has an effective trade and you're only up one, one base, Terran can easily catch up in supply. So, I would think that Best should consider taking another base pretty soon, but we're going to have another attempted drop onto this third base. He's getting everything lined up here. We hear a lot of scans going off. I'm going to turn off and see what he saw. Oh, well, we have an engagement, so scratch that. All right, I thought we were going to have an engagement, but instead he does just back off for now. But what he did see was, you know, <coughs> double forge in the main. So that should signal to him that this is obviously gateway man. Heavy upgrades is going to be storm instead of arbiters. I don't think he necessarily needed to scan and see a stargate to know that whether it was arbiters or not. But we're going to have... I think a big bust here and here we go again onto the third base this time around there's a lot of mines but they're all grouped together so i'm not sure how many connections he's going to actually get can we get a good storm and that's not so great and this is actually a really tiny choke we need some better storms that's great he hits three or four tanks right there but the choke is so tiny and also plus two kicked in for terran so i would say that that was not really a worthwhile trade now if he could have gotten a single storm off onto some of these scvs I think that would have been a little bit different. But now, not losing that many tanks, supplies are a little bit closer. Terran should be feeling pretty good about that trade. Now we do have Best taking another base at bottom left. And if you've heard me on stream, I'm actually a big fan of taking bases on Terran's side of the map. And the reason I say this is if Terran's gonna camp, sure, you can camp, but you gotta realize that you're sacking bases on your side of the map. So you better do something about it Otherwise, this base is mine for the next few minutes. So I love it. 
and it does get scanned instantly. So I wonder if that will trigger instant dropships. For now, there is no dropship. I just see Vessel coming out back in Best Main. It's still just, what is this, 11 gates? I guess three more down here. So about 15 gates for him. But right now, still not a lot of heavy tech. It's just Templars. Now this is risky. A cross map transfer of probes. This could, be, this could be the mistake that Sharp is waiting for if he can intercept these with some vultures. But he really hasn't had great map control the entire time. You know, he only has a couple of mines just randomly throughout the map at bottom right. Other than that, really not a lot of map presence with those vultures. Now we are going to have another attack in here. Shuttle is a lot of Templars. There's not that many tanks here. So I think Protoss should be able to bust through. The storms actually hit a lot of his own units. So this may actually end up not working out if Terran can reinforce, but so far, these alts are doing work, man. They're killing a lot of tanks. Now the mines are gonna trigger and take down a lot of them, but is this a hold for Sharp? Maybe these tanks that are on the outskirts are dealing a lot of damage, but supplies are 140 to 95. So even though he does end up cleaning up this army, I think Best is still fine. This was not exactly the best trades for him, but definitely, I would say, worth. Now, okay, we do have third gas for best. I was wondering when he took it. Actually, he must have taken it pretty quickly because it's mined uh, a, a decent amount. No gas taken here. His main gas is going to be mined out pretty soon, so he should consider taking his mid-right gas pretty soon. We do have plus three weapon, but not plus two armor coming in, so... Terran should have a sizable upgrade advantage. Yeah, it's going to be plus three weapon, two armor, versus just plus three weapon, one armor. Now, we do have the dropship. Like I was saying, once you scan bottom left, you know that they're going to have to go for some dropship play. But the dropship intercepts the shuttle, and this sh shuttle harassment really shouldn't do that much damage. You can see Bess is scrambling to get across the map to try and shut down this drop. Right now, he only has two Dragoons, though. So these tanks, or this tank could potentially deal a decent amount of damage to the probe line, focusing down a few probes here and there. I would say maybe he got like five or so. Pretty decent drop, but didn't do, you know, crippling amounts of damage overall. Now we do have a few vultures sharking around, trying to see if he can lay a few mines. Something that best does uh, kind of lack when I watch him play is Lack of observers. There's a lot of times when I watch Bess, he runs around. He has great movement. Like, he's all over the place. He's very diligent with his movement. But without any observers, oftentimes I see him run into the mi into mines and lose a lot of zealots. And as I say that, you know, there's not a single observer in this army. Yes, there's one right here. But unless he repositions it, he's in trouble. Because there's a decent amount of mines set up. And Sharp getting into position with some more vultures to lay down some more mines. He's going to make this kind of hard to run into, but he's going to go for it again. Let's see if this will actually work. That's a decent Protoss army. A lot of mines being hit. The shuttle does unload the Templars. Can they get off any good storms? Reinforcing is sharp. That's a great D-Matrix. However, that's a great storm on top of the tanks. But he needs the killing blow. These Zealots need to get over there. Zealots on the left side. Oh, there we go. More Templars on the back. Good focus fire there. Knocks down that Templar before it can get a critical shot in. And again, another great defense from Sharp. He is holding off really well. However, like I said, best expanding on this side of the map is quite annoying. And he is macroing out of these gateways too. These zealots in this base have done a decent amount of damage to the SCV line also. I think taking down about five workers. Another storm drop there gets a couple more. Overall, pretty good. But non-stop production from best. He is... Moving across again for another attack, but this army is pure zealot. If there's mine set up, I don't think he'll have as much sec success as he did just a moment ago. Another zealot. Well, I guess it's just one zealot bomb. Wow, these these mines are doing so much damage, and that was a gift from Best to Sharp. And now Sharp is actually up in supply, up in upgrades. He knows that he's done a lot of damage. He also killed a lot of Templars there. We may see a counterattack the bottom left. Now, back in Best Main, are there any Stargates? I still don't see any Stargates anywhere, so it's still just Gateway Man with Storm. We hear another uh, scan go off. I, I guess I don't know exactly where it went off, but I'm sure he's intending to attack bottom left at this point. And now Best has to scramble to get all of his units into position. 
Well, actually, maybe he's not. He's going to head over towards the top left and try and go for a counterattack. There's not that much defense, just two tanks. But Sharp knows about it, so he's repositioning into the third base. And this will be denied for now. We do have, oh, I thought that was a probe going to take a base at bottom right. But if you're best at this point, what do you what do you really do? Like he's maxed out almost like after maybe one more cycle. He's got how many Templars? Only two Templars in that shuttle. It's not even with the rest of his army. And if he builds new Templars, of course, they're going to be low on energy. I don't think he has enough storms to get through a vessel with double EMP in the next few seconds. That vessel also has EMP. Terran is really fortified on all three bases, so I think at this point, what Best needs to do is wait for Terran to move out, try and get a good engagement, and maybe he can take it from there. You gotta consider, he's still up two bases. Like, if you're Terran here, where do you expand? Top middle? That's towards Protoss. That's probably not the ideal base to take. So we do have some Dragoons just clearing out the mines do have this drop over here trying to find an opening and he will find mid right but this base is almost mined out as long as best realizes and transfers the pros which he does this is not going to deal that much damage and he does take mid right however we do have potentially a big engagement there and best does lose a few dragoons but not that much now i did see sharp supply go down a little bit so i'm not sure if i missed the drop or something like maybe potential harassment on the left side it doesn't look like it but I did notice it drop slightly. We do have a vulture run by to bottom right, but really not gonna get anything done here. Maybe a few zealot kills with these vultures. But overall, okay, well, now he's gonna start getting some damage. These probes <laughs> ended up going towards the wrong nexus and he lost about seven workers. That's a big catch. Look at the probe count for best now. Even though he has six bases, he's lower in workers now. and. Best, man, you better rebuild those probes ASAP because right now I don't think you can support 15 gateways. We do have another big vulture move out towards the center of the map. Now Sharp is really finding his stride. He's getting a couple of Zealot kills, a couple of Templar pickoffs as they just completed. And actually, I'm very worried for Best now. Even though he's maxed out with a decently strong army, he does not have the bank to go for more... Uh, more remaxes like he, he probably has like I don't even I don't even know maybe like half of a remax and that's it meanwhile Terran Terran's been camping for a long time so the tank count is enormous that's 12 right there a couple over here a couple over here too he has something like 20 tanks but he's actually only using about 15 of them but what is super dangerous is these double vessel these EMPs if he can land them going to be epic now where does Sharp want to attack? He did scan the center and he does see Best was repositioning there. He does see Jup. Gets a couple of units for free right there. Again, like what do you do as Best? Like there's no place to attack. If you t attack the third base, Sharp is going to kill bottom left while also turning around the majority of his army. And I love the spread of these tanks. These tanks are going to dish out so damage, so much damage for free. Okay, shuttle coming in. Can the shuttle get any damage done? No! It gets picked off before it unloads at all. And this game is slowly just falling apart for best. There's just no angle of attack, man. And this is just such a killer army. Like, look how big this is. We hear another scan going off, so we're going to have a potential counter. Best is just going to give up this natural, at least. There's two Templars here. Oh, well, that was not the ideal EMP. And the Storm does combo with these cannons to get a couple of tank kills. Goons clearing out the mines. This is fantastic. Exactly what you should be doing. But I like how Sharp has left a lot of tanks in a defensive posture right here in the center of the map. Just pushing with a small amount to try and knock down this base. Now, with the Storm, this may be a little bit too few to actually knock down. But still not a big bank for best here. He still hasn't made a decision on where he wants to attack. Okay, it looks like he is going to finally move towards bottom left. He will try and actually engage the army here. And here we go. There's actually not that many tanks set up. Okay, that's a big mine hit. He needs to get these EMPs off. That's a huge hit. He hits a lot of the goons and a lot of the zealots with the EMP. But where's the army? The tanks were still sieged in the center of the map, so he can't fight right now. 
Uh, he does retreat into a good fortified position. He didn't lose too much there. I don't think Bess lost too much either, but he did eat a couple of big EMPs. We've got Shark sharking around towards the middle of the map, trying to pick off a few units. Back in, damn, back at Bess Rally Point, that is Zealot Man if I've ever seen him. That's like 30 Zealots. And how many good Dragoons does Bess really have? He has seven goons? That feels way too lopsided in terms of Zealot and goon count. If an EMP hits like this blob right here, we're talking thousands of points of damage. Oh my gosh. Well, that was actually probably the minimum amount of damage that Bess could possibly take. And we do have Sharp going for a, an attack at the main, but he sees that Bess is trying to go for another counterattack at mid left, so he turns around and. This is an important base. This is like the only mining base for Terran right now. However, Terran is in position. This tank count is huge. If he has any EMPs, he can hit so many Templars. Those are great storms. He, hit a lot, he hits a lot of the tanks, but I don't think it's enough. Oh, defensive mines here. Dragoons get blasted, and this is the entire army of Bess just getting crushed. However, the storms were amazing. He hits a lot of tanks again, hits some SCVs, Supplies plummet for both sides, but Terran lost a ton of workers. Now sub 30 workers. He's gonna have to start rebuilding out of all of his SCVs just to saturate top right. He already sent about 12 of them up there. Terran has a great army. He did use a lot of his EMP though, but the army of best, is it enough? Is the comp good enough to deal with? And oh my gosh, I think he just ate a big mine here on the high ground. Like I said, Bess is someone that really lacks observers, and it's really biting him in the butt this time, big time. I would love to see a huge minefield while also counterattacking bottom right, trying to eliminate bases. That's a, a decent minefield, but kind of skimpy, honestly. I'm not sure if this will actually mm, dissuade Bess from trying to rally down here. Now, we've got another big engagement. Zealots and Storms were fantastic, but there's just not enough support for them. The tanks, I think, should be able to push through, but good production from Best. A lot of Storm, or not, not a lot of Storm, but a couple more Templars on the high ground there, and Protoss does know about top middle, so he instantly goes to counterattack it now. That's another big mine hit. Just so much damage from the mines. Absolutely so much damage. However, it's only Vultures, and if any of these Dragoons survive, he's going to shut down the space, and he does. He clears out all the workers, so this is kind of the last lifeline for sure, he's got to use his remaining army to knock down not just this base, but also this one, also this one, and this one. And there's a lot of storm here. I don't think he's going to knock down this one. The command center also going to die, potentially. And all that's left for Sharp on the left side of the map, like, I don't see any tanks on the left side. Like, all the tanks are over here. The count is still ridiculous, but... He's just basically not mining at this point. It's like half a base, really, just six mineral patches. He desperately needs to get top middle. Now we do have an engagement at bottom right. He's gonna try and push the issue, try and bust through bottom right. Good storms again, hit a lot of the tanks. The Zealots are trading, I would say, decently well. Another good storm. And I think at this point, supplies are just too little for Sharp if he had better econ. You know, I'm still a believer with the amount of tanks he has. But he's got to get through this base and all the bottom left. And we do have reinforcements coming in from Bess. This time around, there's a bit of a better balance with the Zealots and the Dragoons. But again, no Observer. So mines being set up once more. Zealot bomb on top of the tanks, though. I think this is too much. I think this is just too much stuff for Sharp to deal with. He's now down to six tanks. Good D-Matrix. Goliath coming in to help save the day versus the shuttles. But Zell's getting on top of these tanks on the high ground. We see Vulture scrambling to get across the map here. But there's no tanks anymore. Just just so much production from Bess. Like, he's got the gateways in his main. He's got like 12 gate there. 3 gate over here. 3 more gates over there at bottom right. And there is the GG from Sharp. He taps out. And what a great defense from him in the early mid game. But overall... The Econ is what reigns supreme from Best. I like how he took bottom left, as I stated. He forced Terran to attack. Terran could never really attack because of the great counterattacks. 
and it was just too much econ to overcome. When you're stuck on four base versus eight base Protoss, you know, maybe it's manageable versus five or six, but seven or eight bases is just a little bit too much. So that's it for the cast, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.